every spirit of discouragement in your life I command it catch fire Father as I share your word I decrease that you may increase Lord I disappear that you may appear I have seen your faithfulness around the nations of the world do it again in the Republic of Tanzania. Heavenly Father, we are gathered in your presence to hear your voice. Let me speak of your counsel. Father, speak to us. Let your word come forth with power. Let your word come forth with clarity. Let your people be blessed. Let your people Never underestimate the power that God has invested in the world. The Bible says it is the seed of the woman that will crush the head of the serpent. So if you are here and you are a woman, I want you to know you are powerful. Hallelujah. Actually, every time I look at a woman, I look at a woman. When I look at W, I see a warrior. If you're here and you are a woman, you are a warrior. And I am thanking God for this thing. Oh, taking it by force. Because I am talking to warriors. Somebody say, I am a warrior. Somebody say I am an organizer. When I look at the M, I see a manager. A woman manages her house. Manages her family. Manages the affairs of her home. And the affairs of her life. You are a manager. When I look at the A, I see an administrator. When I look at the end, I see a negotiator. So you are a warrior, an organizer, a manager, an administrator, and a negotiator. Somebody say, I am blessed to be a woman. I know sometimes when people look at you as a woman they may see a woman with problems but God sees a woman with potential they may see a woman with a past but when God looks at you he sees a woman with a purpose so ladies of character Tanzania and also friends of this ministry we salute you, we honor you and we bless God for your life can we give God a clap offering because of the first anniversary what you carry does not determine your warfare what you carry determines your warfare what you carry determines your warfare what you carry determines your warfare and when God favors you, Satan also eyes you and I know there are many women of God and men of God in this house and I know there are many women of God and men of God in this house Many times when people look at men and women of God, many times people see the glamour. They see the glory. But the one thing they don't understand, there can never be a glory without a story. They don't know the battles we fight behind the scenes. They don't know the demons we are dealing with. So it is not easy. Tell your neighbor when God favors you. Satan eyes you. Satan 
and you know every great vision attracts a panic opposition but I thank God also for one thing the will of God will never catch you it will never take you where the grace will not protect you so if God leads you to something there is enough grace even in the midst of challenges even in the midst of the storms there is grace to sustain you Shakados Karagadesh Karagadosi Lahande Bazoya Kadesh Karagados Mahande Bazoya Kadesh Karagadoski Father, move by your spirit and by your power. Touch your people and change lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I have written 12 books. But I came with four. The first one is Touching Heaven Through Prayer. Secrets of a Prayer Warrior. This is a book that will ignite your prayer life with fire. I looked at the life of Jesus. The disciples of Jesus. They saw him walk on water. They saw Jesus multiply food. They saw Jesus raise the dead. They saw Jesus open blind eyes. They saw Jesus open deaf ears. They saw Jesus cleanse leprosy with a touch. And they did not say teach us how to do any of these things. They did not say Jesus. They did not say. They didn't say Jesus teach us how to do any of these things. But they said teach us how to pray. And I began to wonder why. And I realized. It is because. They observed the life of Jesus. And the life of Jesus was a life of prayer. You can preach and perish. And perish. But you cannot pray and perish. Because prayer is fellowship with God. Prayer is communion with God. Prayer is the meeting point between divinity and humanity. If there is a woman to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. And I am praying for ladies of character. May God soak you with the spirit of prayer. May God ignite your prayer life with fire. I know you've been praying. But So this book will bless you. I've also written inside this book the hindrances to prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because some of you are saying, Reverend Natasha, I have been praying, but nothing is working. Nothing is moving. Get this book and learn the hindrances to prayer. The second book is every problem has an expiry date. Ah, touch your neighbor, tell them every problem has an expiry date. I don't know what you are passing through today, but as you read the pages of this book, 
yako. But listen to me. Lakini nisikilize. Why are people put a full stop? Ni watu wanapoata kituo. That is where God begins a new sentence. Ragadoski, ragadeshka, ragados. It has an expiry date. Nina muda wake wa kuisha. My God. Then I have a third book here. Kitabu kingi cha tatu. God's leading lady. Dada au kimwanamke anayeongozwa na Mungu. You are a diamond nothing can break you. Wewe ni almasi hakuna kitu chochote kinachoweza kukushusha. This is a book that is dedicated to the woman. Hiki ni kitabu ambacho kimewekwa kabisa wakfu kwa ajili ya mwanamke. I have written on women that we can learn from from the Bible. Nimeandika kuhusu na wanawake ambao tunaweza kujifunza women like Deborah. Wanawake kama Deborah. And I'm praying in Tanzania. Na ninaomba Tanzania. May God raise women like Deborah.
mali. Then we have the unbeliever man. Halafu kuna mwingine ambaye hajaokoka. Unbeliever man. Hajaokoka mpaga. If you are a born again Christian woman, wewe mwanamke mkristo umeokoka. God will never send you an unbeliever. Mungu hatakuletea mtu ambaye hajaokoka. Listen to me. Nisikilize. Some people say, "Eh, hey, but nobody in church is proposing." Wengine wanasema kanisani hakuna nani nichumbie kanisani. Isaiah 34:16. Isaiah 34:16. It says not one of them will miss their might. Kuna hata mmoja atakayekosa mwenzi wake. My mouth has commanded. Ana kinywa changu kimeamuru. And the spirit of the Lord will gather them together. Atawakusanya. So I want you to know there is somebody for everybody. Nataka ujue yuko mtu kwa ajili ya kila mtu. Whether you are 21, uwe na miaka 21, 31, 41, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51, 51
25. Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years, had suffered many things from many physicians. She spent all that she had and was no better but rather grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, you see the multitude thronging you and you say, who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman fearing, trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. Verse 34. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Somebody said, take it by force. Come on, say it, take it by force. I love what the Bible says. That from the days of John the Baptist until now the days of Lucy Natasha until now the days of Pastor Mabel the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence shall take it by force. I want to submit to you today the devil does not understand the language of diplomacy. He understands the language of violence. And in this first anniversary of ladies of I want you to know 
a way out. Iko njia kutokea. There is a way out. Iko njia kutokea. There is a way out. Iko njia kutokea. There is a way out. Iko njia kutokea. Watch this now. Angalia hii. She heard and the Bible says she spoke to herself it is not enough to hear after you hear hallelujah that is the first thing to take it by force you must hear and hear the word then she spoke to herself she began to confess faithful to us I have come to tell ladies of character Tanzania. Proverbs 18, 21 says, The power of life and death is in the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the food. Don't just talk. Your words are the creators of your words. What you confess is what you possess.
incident in this book nimeweka kitu kimoja that happened to me kitu kimoja ambacho nilikutana nao i was with my personal assistant princess nilikuwa na msaidizi wangu and uh, the one at the keyboard yule ambaye yuko kwenye keyboard and i remember that day nakumbuka siku hiyo as the protocol was coming to receive us in lagos wakati wa kuja kwa kwa kuja kutupokea kule lagos so they came to the hotel earlier wakafika pale hotelini mapema and they called and they said woman of god we are ready at the lobby at the reception yes. waiting for you mama tayari tumeshafika hoteli tunakongoja so now we had to use the lift so that we could meet them at the lobby ili bidi tuchukue lift tu ili tufike mapema pale walipo so so that we could reach so that we could go where they were to meet them to train the pilot to talk to them so as we approach the lift to report caribbean lift there was somebody inside the lift and he saw us approach we go na mtu ndani akatuona tunakuja so he kept the lift open akaweka akaacha lift hiyo so i asked the guy nikamuuliza kijana are you going down unashuka chini the man looked at me yule kaka kaniangusha he said i can never go down in life it was not easy haikuwa rahisi and we are here to tell you it is not going to be tuko hapa kukwambia haitakuwa rahisi there are obstacles that this woman had to run because the cause of her mama ribidi avishinde and i've even highlighted them in the book god's leading lady na nimeandika kwenye kile kitabu mwanamke anayeongozwa kwa but i will mention a few lakini tutavitaje vichache number one this woman had to rise above people huyu mwanamke ribidi aliloke dhidi ya watu if she had said oh my god kama amesema what we people say what what as a mali people know my story they know my situation watu wanajua changamoto yangu wanajua hali yangu would never have gone to touch jesus as him oka kugusa pindo la vazi la yesu she did not listen to what people were going to say hakutaka kusikia watu watasemaje when you have the approval of god unapokuwa na uthibitisho wa mungu you don't need to be disturbed by the approval of men unahitaji kusumbuliwa na maneno ya kibinadamu Are you listening to me? Unanisikiliza? It doesn't matter what everybody else says. Haijalishi wengine wote wamesema nini? When God speaks, Mungu anaposema, every other speaker becomes a noise There will come times that you will have nobody to encourage. Itafika wakati huna mtu akukutia moyo. But as a lady of courage, lakini kama mwanamke wa tabia njema, courage yourself. Kitia nguvu moyo. When you have nobody to encourage, unapokuwa huna mtu akukutia moyo, courage yourself. Kitia moyo mwenye. When you have nobody to stand with you, unapokuwa huna mtu akusimama na wewe, stand by yourself. Kitia mwenyewe. When you have nobody to love you, unapokuwa huna mtu akukupenda, love on yourself. she rose above people akainuka kuzidi wa many of us have not fulfilled our destiny watu wengi hatujatimiza hatima zetu because we because of people kwa sababu ya watu when you allow people to define you ukiruhusu watu wakutafsiri they will confine you watakukunja and people can make you what you are not na watu wanaweza kukufanya vile ambavyo si vya ulivyo are you listening to me unanisikia so don't allow people to define you usiruhusu watu wakuta because they will give you a wrong identity and as a woman your identity is in Christ you are who God says you are you are what the word of God says you are you can do what God says you can do and you can be what God says you can be 
fikra za watu. Don't worry even when people talk about you. Hata usijali watu wanapokusema. Your destiny is not in the mouth of gossip. Hatima yako haiko midomoni mwa wasengejaji. Your destiny is in the hands of God. Hatima yako haiko midomoni mwa God our destiny is not in the mouth of gossip. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwamba hatima zetu haiko midomoni mwa wasengejaji. Our destiny is in the hands of God. Hatima zetu ziko mikononi mwa Mungu. And when you see people talking about you, unapona watu wanakusema Understand. Elewa. When you are at the top, you become the topic. Unapokuwa juu, wewe unakuwa kichwa cha habari. When you become the head, unapokuwa kichwa, you become the headline. Wewe unakuwa kichwa cha habari. You people talk about you no more. Unapona watu wanakuzungumzia wala usijali. Muuza jirani yako mwambie unapona watu wanakuzungumzia wala usijali. Mwambie usijali. Eh, mwambie usijali. As they keep talking behind your back, God will bless you before their face. Are you listening to me? Number two, this woman rose above fear. If you are going to take it by force, you have to rise above fear. You have to be fearless. I will not mention the others, I will conclude. 
sitataja vingine this woman finally she came to the meeting of Jesus. It was not easy to reach Jesus. Jesus was a crowd puller. Jesus also had uh, had the disciples. Among his the disciples, he had the outer circle and the inner circle. In the inner circle, he had John, Peter, and James. He had the outer circle. Then he had the women. You remember Luke chapter 8. From verse 1 to verse 3. We are told of Susan, Joanna, and Mary Magdalene. Women that used their wealth to finance the ministry of Jesus. His financial partners were there. The crowd was there. This woman had no support.
And the Bible says immediately she was made whole. Immediately she was restored. A woman today is about to be restored. Your health will be restored. Your marriage will be restored. Your joy will be restored. Your peace will be restored. It is your season. Oh.